let's try to understand that which framework you have to pick as a blockchain developer in 2023 for building your full stack blockchain dApp. You are watching this video means you are confused and you want to know that which framework is better for you as a blockchain developer so you can start learning. So that's what we're going to talk about that which framework you have to pick and why you have to pick that particular framework. And if you don't want to use the framework, then what are the problems you're going to face when you will build your dApp using pure HTML CSS? So that's the entire thing we will talk about in this video that why you have to learn this particular framework, what are the frameworks we have, what are the advantages of the framework you will get and what are the libraries are available for you to build your front-end full stack blockchain tab so that's all we're going to talk about in this video i hope this will clear all of your doubt that what you have to learn because a lot of you guys are asking me that what should we learn because right now whatever project we have built on the channel in all of the project i have used one particular framework which i'm going to talk about that why i have picked that particular framework and what are the advantages i have and why i'm not gone with the any other frameworks which is available for building our app so that's the entire thing we're going to talk about it so make sure to watch the video till the end and if you haven't subscribed to my channel do so that will motivate me a lot to bring a video like this before i go deep into this video i just want to give you a quick disclaimer that whatever framework i'm going to highlight in this video that's follow a one particular programming language and that's a javascript so before you learn about any more of this framework you have to be master in javascript i'm not telling you to be master but you have to know 60 or 50 percent at least that will help you a lot both in terms of using the framework or writing the custom code or building the logic or if you want to enhance your smart contract development skills then javascript will help you a lot in your smart contract development so first master javascript after that you have to use the framework okay so that's the quick disclaimer i want to give first master javascript then move to framework so now let's talk about the advantages you will get when you will use the framework as compared to the you will build your dab using html css and javascript so the very first one we have is efficiency and that is the most important thing in any product you build in in a, in a physical world or a digital world. You have to provide the efficiency, the scalability, because you can break down the entire application into a small component and you can use that component into multiple places. All you have to do is to pass the props and the styling will change, the data will change. So that's a good developer experience and that will save a lot of your time when you will develop and work on your tab. The second one we have is consistency or you can call it architecture. So you can follow a particular hierarchy when you will use this particular framework. For example, that you can keep all the component inside a folder which handles the props or you can build a component where you can handle all the navigation or menus so that's how you can structure the entire application in one particular component and you can simply manipulate the data so there is a consistency for for one folder in that you will keep the information about the navigation then the footer and the entire logic so there is a consistency is there and that's very easy to navigate and third you will find a lot of pre-built component which you can use it in your project right now we have tons of libraries are available all you have to do is simply import the packages and you can apply the styling to that and that's really fast because right now we have npm all you have to do is to install and have the feature so you have to write less code and you will have the pre-built feature in your application so your development process would be fast and number four we have scalability so it's easy to scale any application when you are following any particular framework but it's really very hard when you are building an application using the html and you want to scale that so for example that right now i have five pages and i want to scale it just like a uh, facebook or amazon so you can see how big those applications are so if you go with the normal normal way of development it's absolutely impossible for you to manage the entire architecture of your application so in that context it's become very easy that you have to use a proper architecture and that's only you will find in this particular framework and number fifth we have that modern technology so every single day some new tools comes and gets add on into these frameworks and that brings a lot of advantages for you for image optimization seo friendly or speed of processing so there's a lot of tools keep updating into this framework which you can use it and this again takes most of your work away from you so if you follow a normal way of development in that everything you have to build from scratch everything but in this, all you have to do is to import and you will have the basic functionality. All you have to do is to simply provide the data and do the modification and everything is ready. So in this way, you can easily be able to build a scalable application and you will find tons of libraries are already there. And now the sixth one is the most important one is career opportunity. So right now, if you go to any industry, any company, they want you to have a skill on any one of these framework, which you, you want to use it, mainly a specific framework, which I will talk that which one is more popular right now in 2023 as per the dev development or web two development or web three development, because no matter wherever you apply for getting job internship they want you to have a skill if you want to work as a front-end developer they want you to know about these frameworks then only they will give you the job or they will hire you these are the basics example i have given to all of you guys if you guys have built using any framework you know that how easy it is to build application in the framework as compared to the html css and javascript so now you know that why framework is so important for you to learn and master 
now let's move to the second part of our video that which one is the most popular one and why you have to pick that particular one so all the framework which you can see here all of these frameworks are javascript library you can see the popular one is 90 percent next year you can use it in your front end app so the one i recommend to all of you guys if you're a completely beginner or if you're an advanced developer or you already know about the framework that start giving focus in next year you can see the popularity and if you come back to the next JS here in the documentation, they got it got a recent update and you will find that they have included tons of things. So this 13 is absolutely amazing. They have added simple data facing and SEO. This one is the biggest problem we have in the React frameworks because it's a single page application. So you can't able to optimize the uh, blog post or your application properly as per the SEO optimization. But that's the problem it's solved in next year's 13. So this is the one you have to focus straight away. And if you come back to the channel, you will find that whatever project I have built in all of those projects I have included next year's. But if you look at the comparison between next year's and React years, you will find that there is a lot of good stuff we have in next year's. It's easy of development. Yeah, definitely. There is no doubt. But when it's come to scalability, when it's come to user performance, there is a lot of issues in that. And right now, whatever project we have in the industry and it's coming in the market, faster development, enhance user experience, SEO friendly, super fast rendering, build-in CSS, image optimization. So we have specific tool for a specific purpose. If you want to optimize the big file, you can do that. If you want to follow the nested route, that's also you can handle in next year's 13 very easily. So if you want to provide the authentication, that's also really powerful. You can build a component where you can highlight that which one you want to restrict for the user access. You can design that entire very easily. So there is no doubt. I want you to come and have a look that what are the features you will have in next year's 13 and just do your list search. Okay, again, I will share this link in the description so you guys can come and have a look from your end that why you have to learn this particular framework. So let me find that where it gone. So next year is always on top in terms of getting job and internship. So this is the one recommendation I want to give you all for a beginner or advanced developer. Start learning about next year's, try to master that. And if you guys want me to build a specific course on next year's where I can talk about this next year's 13.4, that what are the feature you will have, how you can build a scalable application, then do let me know in the comment section. I'll definitely make a project on that. And that will teach you a lot. And I believe that you guys are following the particular project we are having, this one, like chat GTP web 3.0. Make sure to follow this. This will also teach you because we have used Next.js in this. We have follow a very beautiful architecture of our application for managing the state, for designing the data, for authentication, for a membership. So make sure to come and have a look. Check out each one of the projects which we have built. Come back to the playlist and here you will find all the thing which I have built on the channel. So NFT Marketplace, Uniswap clone, that's all we have. This is the one thing I want to highlight to all of you guys. Make sure to come and start focusing on the project and build project using next year's. Next year's. Do your research, whatever I'm telling you, I'm telling you based on my experience, but before you take your next step, try to do your own research. Okay, that's what I recommend always that try to do your own research. After that, you have to decide that whether you have to focus on next year's or you have to go with React, Angular or any other framework which you want to build. Definitely, you can use any framework to build your front end app or a blockchain app. It's totally up to you that which one you have to use, but you have to make uh, yourself industry relevant. So when you will get an opportunity for job and internship, you can ha grab that as well. So that's the only thing I want to talk about in this video and make sure to come and have a look on the playlist I have made that what are the things you have to learn in the blockchain development roadmap. Then we have a playlist for the JavaScript that how you can master JavaScript. What are the topics you have to learn? We have the HTML that what are the things you have to learn in HTML. Then we have the CSS what we have to learn as a as a blockchain full stack developer when it's come to CSS. So make sure to watch each one of these videos. It will give you a good understanding. And then you can decide that how you have to structure a uh, complete learning for your blockchain developer. Definitely, I'm going to make a video where I'm going to simply make a complete roadmap for on six months or four months as a full stack blockchain development. And then we'll gradually move on to the that's one technology, then do it to the another one. And that's how we can build the entire roadmap. So again, that video will come very soon on the channel. So you guys can follow that. So that's the only thing from my end. If you guys have any doubt, any question, do let me know in the comment section. And if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, do so. That will motivate me a lot so I can bring more videos like this and clear all of your doubts. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.